Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be taking to you outside and we are gonna be doing a dumbbell only workout. It is pretty cold here today in California, so I have on a long sleeve, but I'm going to be recording a full body dumbbell only workout for you guys. I have one set of 10 pound dumbbells at home and anytime I do an at home workout, I try to incorporate them into the workout just to add a little bit more resistance and make the exercises and the workout as a whole a little bit more difficult. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know a lot of my workouts have been at home styled, no equipment, no anything type of training. So I hope this helps, I hope this helps you guys out if you guys are at a gym and you want to do this that's great and then that way you have the opportunity to add you know maybe 10 pounds worth of a dumbbell to one thing and then something you can go super heavy and so you want to add 40 pounds for your dumbbells instead of 10 but for those people that just have one set at home like me or even no weights and you want to use some water bottles or a gallon of water bottle in each hand whatever it may be this workout is going to help you it is a full body blasting fat workout I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope to be bringing you guys a lot more workouts and taking you with me to the gym more and doing things like that over the next couple months and hopefully transitioning these videos instead of just a sit down workout video to more of a vlog style lifestyle video and taking you guys around with what I eat what I do in a day as well as incorporating my full workouts for you guys but with that being said I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into this workout starting off this first exercise this is something i always always do in the gym and love to throw it into any full dumbbell body workouts this is going to be a squat to press this not only works your glutes your hamstrings your quads um your shoulders but it also works your core and then a little bit of your biceps and triceps as well i usually will go ahead and do about three sets of 12 to 15 of these lately since my workouts have been more of this style i will be aiming for 15 and have done 15 in this set but this is a great one guys just really focus on squeezing and making sure you're keeping your shoulders stabilized as you're doing this and not letting them get all over the place because that's gonna be really important and squeeze those glutes at the top of the movement. And next, this takes a lot of balance. As you can see a few times I do struggle and put my foot down, but we're gonna be doing an RDL into a single leg RDL. So what you can do, you could do the this entire thing with one dumbbell or you can do it with two as I'm doing here, but you really wanna make sure you're pushing that butt back and then really driving up through your heels on the both leg RDL. And then on the single one, take a second and really make sure Sure you're squeezing your core and focusing if you're not focused on the second movement you are going to lose balance so that's really what you want to focus on doing I would go ahead and do three sets of anywhere from 10 to 12 reps no more than that that's a lot on your hamstrings if you really want a good good hamstring workout you can always go ahead and do 15 but I recommend 12 I really do like this exercise a lot for the glutes and the hamstrings um, but really like I said just focus on keeping that core nice and tight as you're doing the movement Jumping into our next exercise is going to be a glute bridge. So go ahead and take one, if not both, dumbbells and set them on your hips. And with this, you really want to make sure you're driving up through your heels and really digging your heels into the ground and then really pushing your shoulder blades into the ground too. When you feel that push of your shoulder blades into the ground, you'll definitely feel this and give those glutes a big squeeze at the top. So go ahead and perform three sets for 15 reps for this exercise. Next, jumping in here, I'm showing you guys kind of how you want to keep this stance. Slight bend in your knees. Make sure that those hips are tucked in and your core is tight. You are going to be doing a curl to a press. So it's similar to the squat to a press, but you are going to be opening your shoulders out wide and doing a normal shoulder press. The first one is was more of a neutral grip shoulder press. So you want to keep this one nice and steady. This one's going to work on your core, like I said, your biceps when you perform the curl, and then your shoulders when you do the press. So I would go ahead and do three sets of 12 to 15 for this one, depending on what your goal is. If you really want a good upper body workout, then do the 15. If you just kind of want to stick to a light arm workout, then go ahead and do 12. But I really like this exercise. It's really good. Um, and I really like doing the curls to press. It's one of my favorite things when doing full body movements. 
we're going to be jumping into something a little bit different. You're going to be doing to a squat to a press again, but we're doing a jump squat. This one, I love this. After the last two press uh, curls to presses doing them, my shoulders were already on fire. So this was great. And then the jump squat just really got my heart rate up and then obviously really burned out my quads and my glutes as well. So you're going to perform a jump squat for the first start of the movement, drop down, curl the dumbbells up as you're still in that lowered squat position and then as you come up from the squat that's when you want to push the dumbbells up so it's basically like a movement but try to break it down a little bit as you can see i kind of pause for each curl break push and then drop down jump squat curl break push because you really want to make sure you're hitting each one of those movements you're doing this but try and keep that chest up as high as possible while squeezing that core because if you let that chest drop you're going to start to put some strain on that lower back so that's really what i was focused here and why i was breaking down each movement so simply sets of 12 to 15 reps of those and then next we're going to be doing a lateral fly so this one was a little awkward but lateral lunges for me are awkward anyway so go ahead and do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps on each side you're going to lateral lunge to one side make sure you keep that chest up as high as possible and open those dumbbells wide and then close them in this is going to target those shoulders again a little bit of your biceps and then a little bit of your chest as well um, but holding that lateral lunge instead of just going out and in like you normally do holding it for that second or two while your arms are opening and closing really really puts emphasis on your glutes and it's a great great exercise and I really like this one so go ahead 10 to 12 reps knock them out Next, something that I used to hate, but I absolutely love, Renegade Row to a Mountain Climber. So a Renegade Row is where you have a dumbbell in each hand and you row up and then you're gonna do one Mountain Climber on each side. That's gonna be one rep and you're gonna your goal is gonna be 12 to 15 reps. So for this one, as you can see, every time I do the Mountain Climber, I switch my legs back out to a wider stance because when I'm doing the row, I like my feet to be past hip width apart. Not crazy wide, but wider than just a narrow hip width. Um, your goal is to not move and sway your body as much as possible, keeping that core nice and tight and tucked down. But after I do each mountain climber, I reposition my feet so that they are wider because I find it easier, but it also makes the movement a little bit more difficult when I do it for the running gate row. And then next we are going to be moving on to our final exercise and that is going to be tuck-ins. I absolutely love, love, love tuck-ins. Um, and then adding the extra weight just makes it that much more difficult. So your goal would be to know hands. If you really need to put your hands down, just set the dumbbell off to the side and put your hands behind you. But I went ahead and banged out three sets of 15 reps here. That's too easy. Go anywhere 20 to 25 reps. If not, you can always lower the rep count as well. But I really like this because it works your upper body while you're having to hold the dumbbell. Your quads get it a little bit and then obviously your core is just on fire the entire time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to give this video a like. And I hope you enjoyed this full body dumbbell only workout. Bye, guys. That's my